watching this boys, girls, who cares? Hi, how are you? So today I am doing a wig review. Obviously, I'm wearing a completely different wig than my normal hair. Something so different on my channel. Poofy, curly, short. Anyways, whatever it is, I love it. Like I, at first when I tried this on, I wasn't too sure how I felt. I felt a little like, you know, uh, I just, whenever you're not used to seeing yourself in something, you tend to like, whoa, freak out at first. But now, after getting used to it, after obnoxiously posing for an intro for you guys, I realize it's pretty cute. I feel kind of cute. We are doing a wig review today on the company called Fox Wigs. And this is going to be my first time reviewing for them on my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Nicole. I do nostalgic videos, Disney characters, music videos, movie characters, and the occasional wig review because I am a wig freak. I love wigs. I am not an expert and I know that my inner corner eyelash is coming off. But yeah, I love wigs. I love changing my look. If you know, I've had red hair for a while. I've had every shade of red. I love red. Red is true to me, but every now and then I feel like being a brunette. Every now and then I feel like having pink hair, and every now and then I feel like having blue hair. So what better way than to wear wigs? So now I'm going to be doing my honest wig review, and what are my real thoughts on this wig? So when it arrived, it came in this really pretty box right here. And this box is actually pretty good quality, like it wasn't all beat up or anything. A lot of the times my boxes do come beat up and I want to know why because it's a big hard box. Nice and sturdy. And there's the logo, very pretty. And on the inside it came with another little baggie. I love when they come with baggies like this because then I could put my wig caps. So it came with that and then a wig cap. My favorite type of wig cap too, not one of those cheap ones, the, the nets. I love these. So that was very gracious of them. So now we're going to be talking about the wigs and the wig. So this wig, I will be showing you guys a screen clip here of all the wigs they have on their website in case you don't really like this one. But this is the wig I chose because I don't have anything like it and it's very unique. So this is their, I'm reading it, this is their Peach Nectar Synthetic Lace Front Wig and it is right now over $100 so that's, it's pretty pricey so I'm going to be showing you guys everything and what it comes with. The cap construction says it is a lace front with a wefted back, the hair texture is obviously wavy, it is 24 inches long, is that right? doesn't look 24 inches long. That might be a mistake because it's definitely short. Like a bob style. It looks about 14 to me, but anyways. Heat friendly fiber, so if you hate this curly look it's got going on, you can straighten it. One size fits most, fits my head good. Under 160 degrees styleable. The color is called Peach Mimosa. And yeah. So let's get into my thoughts so far. The tightness of it. So it is very tight, but a good comfortable tight. If I pull on it, you can't, it doesn't lift. I love that in a wig. That's always what I look for in a wig is if it's tight enough. Don't have wig glue on, but if I did, this would be super tight. And uh, it has a very like symmetrical like bob style. So what I was thinking was at first I wasn't crazy about the style, but like I said, you can always straighten it if you don't like that. But I really wanted something curly like this. I've just been seeing it everywhere and I love curly hair. I used to have really curly hair like this and I just miss it and I love this color. I love the peach color, but yeah. So it's very tight on my head. Now I'm going to, before I show you guys the length and how it styles, it is kind of shedding a little bit. I'm noticing that as I'm moving it around. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the top part where I cut the lace. I always get dragged if I don't show the hairline enough, but this is how it looks like. 
This is the hairline. Obviously, you could see through right here, so you're gonna have to put some concealer on if you wanna fool people with this wig. And when you part it, you can't really see much. So you can't see through the wig because of the dark roots and you wouldn't be able to see the scalp as well. So that is how the top of the hair looks. Did I show you guys long enough? I hope so, but let me move to this side. Yeah, it's the same thing. Now I've mentioned before that I'm not into wigs with dark roots, but in this case with the pink hair, the peachy pinky hair, I feel like it works. I really do genuinely think it works with this wig. Uh, I like the color combo. It's very pretty. I'm having a lot of fun with this look. Like, I cannot wait to take pictures and take some cute selfies with this wig. The curls are nice. It doesn't seem to be tangly for how curly it is. Like I can easily run my hands through my, the hair, but I am noticing a little bit of shedding. Not anything crazy. Literally, I've had wigs that shed so bad that you pull out a big wad of hair. I'm not experiencing that. Just minor shedding. Things that happen with my own real hair. Like, for example, it just shed a little bit, and that's as much as it shed, which isn't that bad, but I don't like shedding. I'm going to show you guys the back of the hair. As you can see, it's asymmetrical bob style. And this is how the back looks. I seriously was judging this wig too hard the first time I put it on. I hated the way I looked in it. But I really am getting like Carrie Bradshaw vibes if she had dyed her hair pink. But yeah, I think this would be really cute. Like I love the little curls in the front. I'm gonna go on to the styling portion. I'm a little all over the place. I love the curls in the front. I think that that's a cute touch. I'm going to, I think this would be cute pinned back. Yeah, I see this as a really cute festival look. Like, So because of the thickness of the hair, it doesn't seem like it's holding bobby pins too well. And I'm really pressing it in and I could see that this one already fell off. So I'm not too sure how it's gonna hold up with styling, which is, I like to do different styles with my wigs. I think you just really have to press in there hard. But yeah, I would style it like this. I just think that is super cute. Throw in some shades. I brought some sunglasses so you guys could see like, like how it works with different looks. Like, I like how it looks like this. Very cute. It's definitely a look with this shirt. And then I brought some tinted sunglasses because I love tinted sunglasses. So something like this I think would look very cute. But look, see it's falling off on this side. But Okay, so that's how the sunglasses look. I want to kind of do, I think it, it doesn't have baby hairs. So you'd have to cut some baby hairs or pull out. If you have dark roots already, I would pull out some hairs so you get you could like do a cute half up half down hairstyle i feel like that would be really good but since i don't have dark baby hairs i have red that's not going to work and i don't like the way this looks because it's just too sharp so i already know i don't like that so what i'm gonna do is maybe do a cute top knot or something or uh half up half down would work if you leave the hairs down see so you see that but i think i need a little more because the, the dark roots is really helping it look uh, natural, so. Okay, so like this. And it just molds really well, like, because it's, I think because of the curl of it, like, you're just able to mold it any way possible. Like this. Do the quick top knot so you guys can see that as well yeah so this is a cute little bun and it was super easy to mold because the hair is so curly oh let me zoom out just a little bit okay so like that oh, that's a horrible bun but that is really cute as well 
because I think it would be cute if I uh, if I tossed it. I did something like that in the intro where I tossed it over to one side and that gives like a really cool like wow. <laughs> it's like I just I think it's so cool like that type of look when I just saw that style but look. I don't even look like myself. This is definitely a hair transformation, which is exactly what I wanted to do, which is what my title says. I look completely different. So I love it. <laughs> but yeah, so what do you guys think? Definitely different uh, transformation. I really like it. I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't crazy about it at first. I just felt like I didn't like the curls at first, and it, it just was weird and crazy. But now that I've messed with it, Fairly enough, I realized that it's super cute and you can wear it for lots of different things. I'm getting major festival vibes and concert vibes. There's a fly. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Now, before, I, a lot of the times I don't mention this, but there is a coupon code. And if you use the code Nicole, it'll save you 30% off in case you are interested in this wig. But everything will linked, be linked in the bio. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this wig review. Make sure to give this a thumbs up and I will come to you for the next wig review and I will leave this exact wig linked below with my coupon code. But yeah, if you have any questions, let's leave them down below and I will see you soon. Bye guys.